channel and upload showing tutorial and pattern drafting. If you are new on this channel, you are highly welcome. Please click the red button down below to notify you as I will be uploading my new videos. If you are passing by, please like this video and share. On today's video, we are going to be making an eye waistcoat. And what are the measurements you will be needing for this uh, tutorial? You will be needing the waist measurement, hip measurement, and the full length of the skirt we are going to be cutting. That's what we are going to be doing. So sit back and enjoy from the beginning to the end. These are the measurements you will be needing for the tutorial. Waist measurement, hip measurement, full length measurement, and we are needing, you will be needing a band measurement. The waist measurement you'll be working with is 32 inches divided by 4. We give us 8 inches and plus 1 that because we are going to add that to it. Hip measurement is 44 inches divided by 4. We give us 11 and plus 1 inch sewing allowance. And we have 25 inches for the full length. This 25 inches, we are not going to place it this way. We are not placing 25 inches, we are not marking 25 inches because we are deducting 3 inches, which is band, it will just be like this. Can you see 3 inches upward? So this 3 inches, so we are starting from this point to where 25 inches reach, or better still, we could, we could do this way, 22 inches, because 3 inches is our band. So 25 minus uh, 3 inches is going to give us 22 inches. So that shows that we are marking 22 inches for the length. And we are still adding the band to make to make the complete full length. So I'm marking that 22 inches round. I'm marking it round and I'm going to draw line on that point. So having done this, we are we what we are going to do now is to just come down for your hip points. And the hip point we've been using for this tutorial is 8.5. Can you see? This is our 8.5, and I've marked it this way. And I'm going to connect, I'm going to rule it this way 8.5. So, what next to do is to find the uh, the cutter of our measurement that is the cutter of waist measurement hip measurement and to the hemline so we have 32 inches I told you 32 inches divided by 4 is giving us 8 inches plus 1 inch that and I will add my allowance to it and 44 inches for hip divided by 4 is giving us 11 inches plus one inch for the allowance and this is full length we have done that part so this is what we are going to do our waist is 8 inches marking it that showing allowance and this is the hip point Here is my hemline. So this is my hip line, and 44 divided by 4 gives me 11 inches, and I'm placing my 11 inches this way. If you want to fold, you fold by your higher, highest measurement. Mine is hip, so fold by highest measurement and hard some inches to it because we sew it and we had that to it so this is my 11 inches here 
and I want to add my allowance to it. So here I will take the measurement. I have 13 inches here. I'm going to this M line. So 13 inches from here and I'm bringing it down to this M line. This way. And I'm not going to mark this 13 inches because I want this damp part uh, to be coffee. Yes, I want it to be coffee. So I don't want to mark this 13 inches. So what you are just going to do if you want coffee area for the hemline is to just call me 2 inches or 1.5 but 2 inches is fine. So let me do 1.5. 2 inches is fine. You could do 2 inches, you could do 1 inch self could do 1.5 but I did 1.5 right now so what's next to do is to connect from the waist line to my hip point and to my hem line so can you see the shape so that's just it. This is my central front, like so. So we are adding the dart now. Before we can cut it, we are adding our dart. If you don't know how to dart, you can go and check it on my channel. I have tutorial on that. On how to dart, I have tutorial on that one. So I'm marking my dart this way. So for the front dart, you are coming down. Four inches. And we are going to connect the lines together like so. Connect together this way. You know we have added uh, one inch for the that here. So that's one inch we have added. We are missing it now. We want to make use of that one inch. So 0 0.5 for the both side, I will mark like so. So this one is coming to this side. So this does it. So we are good to cut now, I want to cut. So this is front panel here, so we have cut it, can you see? So we are going back to the back panel. So here is our front panel, and we have our back panel right here. So So the same measurement we took for the front panel for the length for the full length we are doing the same thing right here so i'll just connect this way we're connecting it also I'm putting the, the same measurement now, but before then we are taking our zip allowance 1.5. You could do two inches, you could do one inch for your zipper allowance. So now that I'm through with this, I'm placing my back measurements, the back front, uh, the front panel. I'm placing the front panel on it, and I will shape it out like so, so that I will have the 
the same shape for the foot. So I want to add my dart this way, four inches this way. So back dart is always five inches. That's that dart. So it's always five inches. So I have one inch, one inch for the dart, zero point five for the both side and I'm connecting like so so these are the front and back the to the waist or panel right now that's what we are going to do next now waist so our band is three inches but because we are going to sew upper part and down part here this way so I've added one inch to it making four inches four inches is the wideness of the band so we have 32 inches for the waist but because this skirt is having zip at the back so the 30, uh, two inches divided by two is going to give us 16 inches and we're not going to cut this uh, 16 inches we're adding one inch to it for the sewing allowance and i'm cutting this way this is 17 inches i will cut from this side so having done this i will cut for the both uh, the the two we are going to use for the back panel you know we uh, one we stay at this side and the other one we uh, stay at this side because of the zip so we are cutting two for the front so these are the two bands this is for the back and you are you will cut two pieces of this for the band because of the uh, zip because we are adding zip, so we are cutting two of this. I've added zipper allowance to it and sewing allowance, and this one too. So I've added it to that. It's a front band. Just place it and sew this way because you are cutting two of this. Two pieces for this one. I are cutting two pieces for this one also. So you just place it this way. You know, with 0 0.5 we have added to this part and 0 0.5 we have added to this side use this one to use it to sew it and to the back also we do the same thing to the back please if you find this tutorial helpful don't forget to like my video and share and if I have to subscribe please do because we don't want to miss any of my tutorial see you on my next tutorial I love you